Okay, so I'm going to show you how to remove uh, any type or vector element within a PDF file. And this doesn't work for all PDF files, but in the case that we're using the Jersey Girl, which uh, we have right here, we're going to remove the type. So how do you do that? Well, let's go off ahead and open it with Illustrator. That's my drug of choice. And here we are with the graphic. And as you can see over here on the right hand side, we have the layer called Jersey Girl. It has a little eyeball so we can see it. It's locked so I can't select it no matter what tool I'm using. So we're going to unlock it. And underneath here, if you can flip down this thing, you're going to notice here's all the layers and elements that make up this graphic here. But these aren't important. We don't care about this. All we want to do is remove the type. So I'm just going to flip this little triangle back up. And we're only concerned about this one layer. So how do we get rid of this thing? What happens when I select it? The whole thing is selected. That's not what I want. So we simply want to just remove the text and the text only. There's two ways to do it. If you're using CS5 or CS4, um, you're, you can use the new tool, which is called the lasso tool, or letter Q is a quick key for it. And you can go around and select it and highlight it that way. You'll notice when I zoom in on it, um, like you have black points and white points. That mean, The black points means it's selected. The white points mean it is not selected. What does that mean? Well, it just means that half of it's selected and half of it's not. So I can press the delete key on my keyboard and it's still there, but it's notice that it's retaining the rest of the selection in these black selections here, these black anchor points. Um, the quick key for what I'm doing here is command uh, plus and minus on your keyboard to zoom in and out. Um, and the space bar turns on the hand tool so I can move it up and down. But back to what we were talking about, I'm just going to press the delete key and I still have some more elements in there so again I can go back with my lasso tool, letter Q, select it, and delete once, delete twice. Voila, I have no uh, text left. So let's do that again, only this time I'm going to use it with uh, a different tool instead of the selection tool, or the lasso select. So this time I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to unlock the layer. Instead of grabbing the lasso tool, this time I'm going to grab the direct selection tool, or quick key is letter A. And my cursor turns into a white um, check mark or arrow, sorry. And I'm going to click and drag. And notice I'm not touching any portion of the girl. I'm getting close, but not that close. And again, delete and delete again. And it, it actually did a little faster that time. So that's the result. Um, I always lock the layers when I'm done in case someone who gets the file is not very computer savvy or doesn't know what they're doing with Illustrator. I always lock it so no one can make any mistakes on my files. So again, I'm going to relock the layer. Just check that. And we're going to save this as a PDF. This already actually is a PDF. It says right here. And I'm just going to call this the Jersey Girl with no text. Jersey's Jersey Girl, no text. Dot PDF. Do you want to replace the one? Sure. And saying uh, what 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 preset do you want to use for your PDF? I just go with the default and save as PDF. And voila, there it is. This is print quality, so your printer will be more than happy with you. And here's our result.